everyone, I'm back to do another haul. This one's going to be kind of a collective haul and it's not a whole lot of stuff. But um, I wanted to do it anyway so I could get some of this stuff put away. I don't know if you guys are like that too when you like kind of accumulate things and they're just kind of sitting in bags and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to do a haul so I can put this stuff away. So I have some things to show. Um, I went to Walmart. Um, and I got a couple of things. This was like, I think on Tuesday um, of last week, of this past week. And I wanted to go into town specifically to stop at a bakery to get a cake batter frappy at um, this one local bakery. And it was delicious. And that was the main reason that I wanted to go into town. But we had to go to Walmart. And... I got a couple of things. The first thing that I got was another wax chart. Um, I, I I have a couple of them, uh, not near as many as I see some YouTubers who have like, you know, wax obsessions. I don't. I'm not there. I'm not at that point. I don't think I ever will be. But I do like wax charts myself. But um. I decided to pick this one up because I had seen it on the Sensationals website. I was just like looking down through some of the scents that they have and I seen this one at Walmart. This is the one that I wanted to smell and I thought it smelled really good. This is the Coffee Cake Swirl and this, oh my god it smells delicious. If you guys have never smelled a Sensationals wax tart, you need to smell them because they smell so true to the name that it's ridiculous. And this smells really good. This is kind of a warm scent. And I wanted to buy some, like, you know, summery kind of scents. But I'm just very attracted to warm, foody smells. So I had to buy it. Um, so I got that. I also, they had this huge-ass display of Sinful Colors nail polishes. And I got suckered into it and I bought one. And this one is in Frenzy. And it's just a purple and blue glitter and I absolutely love glitter nail polish but it is a pain in the ass to get off and I had recently just watched another um, YouTube video of um, someone that I'm subscribed to and I really love her videos and I'm gonna leave a link to her channel how are you doing alright if you see me leave I'm going to leave a link to her channel down below because I absolutely love watching her videos and she was saying that Simple Colors was starting to be sold at Dollar Tree however they're not yet at my Dollar Tree but um, I'm gonna keep looking because you know they all get shipments at different times and stuff like that so I'm definitely gonna check again next week but um, this past what Tuesday that I was there they didn't have it yet and I was going to stop today, but I figured I had already gotten quite a number of nail polishes while I was yard sailing. So I was like, eh, I, I probably shouldn't stop at the Dollar Tree yet to look for more nail polish. So I didn't. Um, but I definitely want to go back and look because that's really great if they would have them there. And then also at Walmart and because of the um, girl that I watch and... Oh my gosh, I'm not sure of her name, like her actual name, but her screen name is like Miss Shorty or something like that, and I will leave a link because I don't know off the top of my head. But um, she had bought um, she had bought one of these uh, glass tea jugs at Walmart, and I seen it and I was like, I have been wanting one of these for a while now. I tried looking for them last year, but I was only ever finding like plastic ones, and I really wanted a glass one. Um, when I was growing up, my aunt would always make sun tea, and anytime I was over at her house, and she'd ask what I wanted to drink, and I'd always be like, I want tea, I want tea, and so I'd always have a glass of sun tea, and I've been wanting to make some for quite a while, and I'm just looking for a glass jug, specifically a glass jug with one of these little spout things, so... Um, I'm going to have to talk to my aunt and get the recipe off of her. But if you guys have a recipe for sun tea and you want to share it, that would be awesome. Um, but anyway, I got one and I loved the look of this. It was kind of like retro looking and it just reminded me of summertime. They had other different ones, but I liked this one the most. 
And um, I feel like there's more that I want to talk about as far as the Stam Sun Tea goes. Yeah, that's it. Um, you know, when I was younger and I go to my aunt's house and I drink sun tea and to this day, like, I love tea. That's, like, my favorite drink. And I, I pretty much live off tea now. So, I don't know. I think it was because since I was young, that's just what I would drink. So, anyway, that's a lot of rambling on about freaking tea. So, I'm just gonna keep moving on. Um, I got, um, I get Easter stuff still. I mean, <laughs> I think it's kind of a little bit insane myself considering that like I'm way too old to be getting Easter stuff but I still do and I appreciate you know that I still get Easter stuff but you know it's not necessary and I don't really you know ever think that I'm getting anything but um I did get a basket of goodies from my aunt and my cousin and from my mom and my mom actually got me some things that were like gifts and she got me some stuff at Bath and Body Works. She got me this cupcake uh, scent portable and it looks like this and I've never owned one of these things um, but I've been wanting one for my car so that's pretty awesome that now I can finally try one. So she got me that and then she got me two of the what the hell are these called? The fragrance refills. So she got me one in vanilla coconut and then one in frosted cupcake. So I'm anxious to try these out. Um, if you guys have one of these, you'll have to let me know how they are. Um, yeah. So she got me those. And then she also got me a, a couple things from Sephora. Um, she got me this pack of nail stickers. These are called Trend Tips. They're from... They're Sephora by OPI, and they're just a cheetah. They're called Cheetah Sparkle. They're just like a gold cheetah print with um, sparkles, I guess. <laughs> so she got me those, and I really do like the nail stickers. I think that they last a while. Um, I haven't tried the Sephora ones yet. I have tried the Kiss ones, and they do, they do last. I, I will give it that. And then also in the bag was another of the Smashbox Full, Expo Ugh, Full Exposure Mascaras. And this little thing of Philosophy Living Grace Shampoo Bath and Shower Gel. So I don't know if she got these out of like the bins that are by the registers or what. Because at first I was concerned because... When my mom goes to Sephora, like, she doesn't have a Beauty Insider or VIP, whatever, card, but I do. So she'll just tell the teller um, to put it under my name. And I know when you go, they say, you know, you have so many points, would you like to redeem it for, you know, whatever they have available that week? And I was so worried that my mom, like, went ahead and, like, got something from, because I have, like, 400-some points or something. And I'm trying to save up for the 500 point, um, whatever it is. I'm just, like, saving up my points. And I was afraid she was, like, using my points to get, like, little 100 point things. And she said not. So, um, I'm guessing those, or she, um, got them from the bins around the cash register. And then she also got me two nail polishes. And these are by Nails Inc. And they're called Special Effects. And this pink one is called Topping Lane. And I actually was wearing this, but it all chipped off. Mainly because I didn't put any kind of top coat, base coat, or anything on it. But um, it did look really cool. I have a picture of it on my Instagram if you guys are interested in looking. And then this one is called Sugar House Lane. And this one's just more of a... Um, I don't even know what color you describe that. But I thought they were, I thought they were pretty cool. And then she also got me a gift card for uh, $20. And I went to the mall and I cashed that sucker in and got a palette. And <sighs> let's see. Um, first, they gave me a sample of Sephora Flawless Moisturizer. And I absolutely love that the Sephora always includes samples with your purchase. I think it's so awesome. Because I've been into other Sephoras, like, you know, large Sephoras, and they never gave me shit. And this little small JCPenney Sephora, like, 
always give samples. It's awesome. So anyway, I had a $20 gift card and I was specifically trying to find something for $20. So I'm like right in the clearance rack and, you know, just trying to find something that was just $20 so I could, you know, use my gift card. And I was looking at palettes and I seen this Too Faced The Return of Sexy palette and apparently I guess my boyfriend was looking at the wrong price because he thought it was like $39 and I wasn't even thinking like no way in hell would this be $39 because most times palettes are like $40, $50 especially like the bigger ones and I wasn't thinking and he was just like well just just get it you know like it's no big deal so I did and here it was like I don't know exactly but it was like I think 40 something but anyway I kind of felt bad about it afterwards but <clears throat> this is what it looks like it's really pretty it comes with a It comes with a um, shadow insurance eyeshadow primer and I have a couple of these tubes of this size and it works well I do like it <clears throat> and the back shows you all of the names and the colors and everything and then the inside it's got a mirror and I hope I don't blind you guys or anything and then it's got little cards over on the side here to show you how to do different looks and it's got a full um, sized eyeliner which is awesome and the only thing it doesn't have is a brush at least I don't think it does sometimes they have little like sections that pull out Too Faced does but I don't see any kind of compartment that pulls out that would have a um, eyeshadow um, brush or anything inside but um this is what it looks like and there's like a, a neutrally section, a purpley section, and then like a smoky kind of section and they're very very pretty so I'm anxious to play around with that. So the only I guess downside to this palette would be it doesn't come with any kind of um, brush but that's no big deal so got that with my $20 gift card and then I also went to JCPenney because I still had some money left over on the gift card that I had won from JCPenney. So I got like a complete outfit for summer. Um, I'll start with the top. I just got this black. It's a, um, Christ, what is this? I want to say it's chiffon, but I don't know if it is or not. No, it's not. Um, it's just a black, very lightweight, um, button-up. Well, it's not even button-up. What the fuck am I talking about? It's just a black, lightweight top. Um, this, you know, you can basically just, like, wear with anything. It's just a basic kind of top, right? But I got it to pair with these shorts. And these are like really loud printed shorts. I don't own anything like this, but I got them to pair with this top. And then I also got these flip floppy sandals to go with it as well. So that's what I bought with the last of my gift card that I had won. So I thought that was a cute outfit to put together for summer and I could use them all separately but I bought them to wear together so anyway I have one more thing to show um during the summer I love to eat corn on the cob like it is one of my absolute favorite things in the world and I think one of the main reasons that is, is because when my mom was pregnant with me, she ate a shit ton of corn on the cob because it was like in the summertime. And yeah, I'm just addicted to it to this day. Like me, whenever I'm at my mom's house, like over the summer, 
she'll just make like a thing of corn on the cob and we'll just like sit there and eat it and you know slather it in thick ass butter and oh my god go to town and it's just like my favorite thing in the world but anyway um I love getting corn on the cob especially um just random stands that are set up in towns you know you just drive drive in through a town and you see a man with you know selling corn on the cob on the back of his pickup truck like that's where you get really good corn so anyway I'm obsessed with corn and sometimes it's a pain in the ass to eat and back when I was younger my mom had these type of tray things specifically made for you to keep your corn on the cob in and you know all the butter and stuff stays like nicely in this container and so and it even has little like indents on the side so if you use the little things to um, hold the corn cob um, you know they fit right in through the indents there so anyway my mom always had these when I was younger and I always wanted some and whenever I'd go to stores and around like you know they sell these types of things but they're always plastic and just chinzy and I've been wanting a nice set of glass ones and so she had some obviously and she doesn't get them out or anymore um, and doesn't use them she just um, she just you know uses plates so she gave these to me, so now I have them, and I have like a shit ton, and I don't need that many, because it's just me and my boyfriend, and he doesn't really, he eats corn on the cob, but not on the cob, so I really don't need this many, I don't know what I'm going to do with them all, so. I don't know what she said, but anyway. She gave me these, so now I have some for the summer to eat my corn on the cob. So I'm excited about that. So now I have things to eat my corn on the cob and make some sweet tea, and it's just going to be a great summer. So anyway, I hope you guys liked the video and aren't disgusted by my corn on the cob stories. Okay, bye.